first time I, Andy, and um, we just had a little um, viewing for some Manx speakers here of Solace, the film. What, what made you think of this uh, particular topic? You know, where did it come from? It, it, comes, it comes from a ghost tour that they've, uh, oh, right. you know, started uh, doing down in yeah, Castletown. Yeah, yeah. And just the story was pretty horrific. And then I thought, well, there's a story there. Russell Raby, who's, uh, yeah. who's written it, was wanting to become a script writer, and he's... Uh, he now works for Pinewood Studios, so... Well, good oh, stuff. He's all right, hasn't he? Yeah, indeed, indeed. And what, what about the, um, the practicalities of doing it, then? What were the challenges? Uh, well, I'm, I think the hardest thing. Casting. Yeah. Um, like, the Manx-speaking fraternity were a little shy. It no comes one, as no surprise. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. No one more. Talented but shy. Talented but shy, but, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a really hard ask to get someone to stand in front of the camera and act. Yeah. I, the hardest thing, I think. Yeah. I mean, you know, the rest, I can see it's possible. So just finding some actors who are willing to learn the parts and making a... I made a, you know, an audio guide that they played in their car. Because not all, not all the actors spoke Manx, did they? Quite a lot of them did, but there was a few people in there, yeah. quite lead parts, didn't speak Manx and stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, they had to just uh, just take a take a CD and listen and listen. They did a great job. You did a great job. It's very impressive, really, and it's a, it's an amazing story, really. Very ambitious. Who wants to go? I thought, oh, look at my show. It's John Bannon, the Van it's good to see such a high level of um, production value through. Where do you get all the costumes and things from? Is it? Uh, I found um, an ex art student from the Isle of Man College, mm -hmm. and uh, she just finished studying um, costume design yeah. down in Bournemouth, and uh, she just had a she had a moment to, to to attend to the film, and she went to the National Theatre and uh, and the poshest hire shops. So pretty much. Uh, mm. Max Heritage Foundation bought the best costumes because otherwise it looks like someone's just put a bit of <laughs> polystyrene and, and painted it grey if you yeah, want armour. So yeah. it, it looks great, doesn't yeah. it? Oh uh, no, it does look fantastic, really. The Manx is great, and it's good. Um, um, you know, it's good that the organisation I work for, which is now called Culture Van, has been able to fund this because it's the sort of thing we should do, really. And I think it's great. Um, it's creative and innovative and stuff. Are you really pleased with the outcome then? Yeah, no, yeah. I am. Uh, it's, uh, it always changes. You're never happy. Um, you know, can always see things I want to change. But yeah, you've got to let go and uh, move on. Yeah. Well, Guramaid, one yet great stuff, and we look forward to the um, to future future film developments from Andy North. Good stuff. Guramaid. I see the babe. Well, fast am I, when you just kissed out, right? Just had the, the screening at Solace, and I've just been talking to Andy, um, produced it and directed oh, yeah. it, and you, you were heavily involved in it as well. Yeah, um, this is a, it's a very important film for the Gaelic, uh, but it was mainly put together by a crew that wasn't Gaelic speaking, yeah, the yeah. actors weren't Gaelic speaking, so um, they were using Gaelic because it was right for the time, rather than because it was a film made by Gaelic enthusiasts. Mm. And I think that that's a, a great step forward for language. Mm. Um, as I've said, it, I think Gaelic's in the mainstream a little bit more through Absolutely, this film. It's, yeah, it's going yeah. out to, to film festivals, going out around the world. A lot of people seeing uh, Gaelic because of it. <laughs> To tell me about your character in the film. Well, uh, it's it's not a very historical film, I don't think, uh, but uh, it's it's certainly uh, dramatic. Um, oh, very dramatic. Yeah. I, I play um, a uh, a watchman who uh, assists Bishop Phillips in uh, rounding up uh, witches and, uh, <laughs> in this case, burning them along with the uh, baby. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about the portrayal of Bishop Phillips, really. I, I think uh, historically he was involved in the first uh, prayer book uh, for Manx. Uh, yeah, had a very uh, important role in the Manx. But I think Wayne Kelso plays a wonderful bishop in this. He just looks Quite absolutely remarkable. fantastic, <laughs> uh, plays a beautiful role, and yeah. uh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. well, Gurumai Moritz on San Chitnach, when he's Gurumai Moritz on Olyra, San Kunaleshen film, Tefisim Narau Kunaleshen's line, Akarau Shigam again, Nawai, Linnikan, San Gurumai Moritz, San Chitnach. Himurish? Oh, you Yeah. Right.